welcome again to another wonderful time with God. Welcome into a new day that our God has made. And after making it, He handed it over to us so that we can make it our own day by connecting to Him via His Word. And the word for our shower today is It won't be long. God has asked that we should encourage somebody on glorious morning shower today that your waiting will not be as long as you think. I know the devil is making us to feel that since it has not happened the time we expected, then the waiting is going to be longer than expected. No, the Lord said, it won't be long. We will smile again. So, don't take any of those negative messages coming to you. Remember the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11 says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now our salvation is nearer. It is so near. How I wish many know how close is your deliverance. How close is your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is very close to you. It's closer than what you think. And God wants you never to give up because it will not be long as you think. It will not be long as you think. Remember in the book of John concerning the story of that impotent man that was by the pool called Bethsaida. Now, when Jesus met this man by the pool, one very powerful message the Lord wants us to pick from there is this. That man was there for 38 years. Now, because this man has waited for 38 good years, feelings, getting used to the situation, mind could be telling him when perhaps another 30 years, if that man had waited for, 33, for 38 years, how old do you think was his age when he first got there? So number one thing that God is trying to tell you is 38 good years. That day, he never knew that it would be over that day. So the same message coming to you now, it won't be long. You will hear the hand of God 
in that battle. You will feel the hand of God. Yes, people could be mocking you and I'm sure they mock the man. Don't worry, just keep at it. Keep telling yourself, it won't be long. It can be now. It can be tomorrow. That is why our Christianity is different from what people are saying now. Now in verse 7 and verse 8 of that same scripture is another powerful message which was the reason why Jesus healed a man. Seven say, the impotent man answer, answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step down before me. Then Jesus said unto him, Rise up, take thy bed and walk. Just that. Two very powerful messages we can get from that scripture. Number one is that Jesus is looking for people that don't have man, have men. So anytime you come before God and your mindset is in, oh, I know that man is a senator. Yes, if I can only know somebody who is close to the governor, hmm, if I can get this person. If your mindset is characterized with such thought, you see, it will be difficult for God to intervene. Don't be carried away by those slams that heaven help those that help themselves. It is not true. It is not scriptural. We are only used to it and we think it's from the Bible. It's not from the Bible. It's just a thought of a man somewhere that became popular. Heaven help those that can't help themselves. If that man had said, Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting for my brother. He used to come late. That is why I'm still here. Maybe he will soon come. Jesus could have passed him by. Say, I have no man. Number two message you should get from that two scripture, of verse 7 and verse 8, is the man did not need to enter the pool. Okay, Jesus could have said, Okay, now the angel is coming. I will stop every other person for you to enter. You know? That miracle came by just Jesus declaring, rise up, take thy bed, and walk. And behold, the man rose up, picked his bed, and began to walk. Immediately. So the message coming your way today is what? Rise up, wake up from your sleep, according to the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Become expectant. Number two, have faith in God. Number three, be humble to obey every instruction he will give you. And I believe with this powerful word, your day will end gloriously in the name of Jesus. Tell somebody and share this message with somebody today. Tell the person, don't worry. Is there anybody somewhere giving up on life? Giving up on himself? Tell them. Or even giving up on God? Tell the person, it won't be long. Jesus will show up the same way he showed up for that man by the pool beside her. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. It's going to be a good day for you and you shall have a testimony that will make your day glorious in Jesus' name. Praise God.